Previously on Dance Moms. I've heard that Lori Ann Gibson would be willing to come take over if you're not able to be here. Abby Lee makes robots, I make stars. So Yolanda, you seem like you're not happy for Lily. Uh, who's to say that I'm not? No one believes you and you look like a fool. You're calling me a liar, I'm calling you a bitch. This is all that Abby Lee has left for yes. someone else to clean up. In fourth place, Judgment Day. Did the ALDC just get fourth place? What, what was that saying? Second is the first to lose? Like, don't have to worry about that today, do ya? Coming up on Dance Moms. Abby is MIA again. We're dancing for transgender youth. This is a very serious subject. Minnie, you guys will not be in the group piece. <laughs> Just because Lonnie was Abby's favorite doesn't mean she's gonna be Lori Ann's. Your solo is jazz. No ponche, no front aerial, like holla freaking Louia. You called me a bitch, hey. I called you a freak. Hey, 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 hey. You hey, called hey. Claire, it's like, you guys pissed me off this week. I don't know whether or not I continue with this team and with these mothers. Living on the dance floor. Ladies, come on, let's go. Abby is MIA, again. No one's heard from her. I have no idea where she is, so we're lucky Lorianne is back today. But I'm not sure she's gonna be happy. Not only did we not win the overalls, Christy lashed out at me. You're a f liar and you okay. know it. All right, yeah. Right in front of Lorianne. We don't have time for drama queens. And if we want Lorianne Gibson to find time in her busy schedule, we've got to get her together. I'm not gonna lie, when we got fourth place, I felt a little undone. I felt like you're still in this system. And also, I still feel like there's an overall fear of Abby Lee on you. We can win based on who we are. It doesn't have to be based on somebody else's terms. It doesn't have to be because you're afraid of what Abby Lee's gonna say, or you're afraid to not look like yourself. And so that challenge is what I'm back to face. I want to win. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, let me get to my A. I like your A. For A-list. Not a pyramid. On the bottom of this week's A-list. Brent, I feel like there's way more that you can do. And because you're so beautiful, you could take the easy way out, and I'm not going to let you. On the left side is Kendall. I think that I am not lazy was just you not pushing through even more. When you talk about Katy Perry, you talk about Nikki, you talk about their work ethic, honey, you're about to experience it. Next on the A-list, ooh, Cameron. I feel like you broke out, but I felt like there's still some weights hanging around your neck, right? Okay, middle row tier. Macy, my black sheep. Everyone's questioning whether you're the black sheep or not. Whether your mother's just working her magic, her voodoo. Middle of the middle tier. Look at that headshot. This girl feels like a savage. If I just booked you off this picture and the performance showed up that you had, I would have been disappointed. This savage I've got to pull out of you. This is a personal mission for me. Next on the A-list. Ladies, how do you feel about that? I'm so happy I'm there. <laughs> Yay! And this week's A-list. <laughs> the thing about the A-list, it's maintaining what you've unlocked humbly with grace and to have that class. It feels amazing to be at the top of Miss Gibson's A-list. It's just such a great feeling and it really feels like I accomplished something, especially since like I never get off like the bottom row of the pyramid. This week, we're going to the Fierce National Dance Competition in Fresno. I can't even believe I'm saying that. So give me the skinny on Fresno. Fresno has a curse. I had scissors in my face and was called the B word. 
don't need to back off, bitch. Don't talk. Call me a bitch. That's like I it. am. You're you're just a joke. Yeah. We've only won once with a group competition, and that was the last time. What we're gonna do is aim to win. Copy that. Yes. Back to the work. Okay. So my first solo, Halani, <laughs> and it's going to be open, titled Savage. Yeah. And my last solo. Yeah. Your solo is titled The Trip, and the style is jazz. Yes. Thanks. Well, the group piece this week is very near and dear to my heart. It's contemporary, and it's called Q. Just the letter Q? Just the letter Q. Yeah. I also have a tribe, right, of artists and young teenagers who are right now in a very difficult place in their lives. They're transgender, and they are ostracized. But they're human. This week, I'm utilizing their fight to inspire our fight. Someone will be playing a transgender. So let's get to work. Mothers, thank you very much. Go have a drink, have a chicken wing, have something, scram. OK. So, girls, listen up. This is the group number. This is a very personal story to me, to my tribe, my artists, my young transgender dreamers. And we are going to fight through this idea that no one hears their struggle, OK? This whole piece is about the transgender youth community and what they face and the struggles that they are in when they are transitioning. This piece is just a place for us to have the conversation. Why is a unisex? bathroom so difficult to understand that one needs. I've thought about it very long and hard. Minis and Macy, you guys will not be in the group piece, only because I don't have very much time, and this is a very serious subject matter, OK? And I need you three to squirrel on out of here. OK, so let's go to work. OK, you're in the middle. I'm assuming that this will be the girl door, that will be the boy door. <laughs> I don't even know why we need to be out here, to be honest with you. We can make this the girl door, because it's red, and it's prettier. So she's saying it's a very, she said it was a very serious matter? Yes or no? Is that what Lori's, Miss Lori, Miss Lori Ann said? Please do come here. OK. No, Ellie, don't stop. You need to stop. So now, come out. Miss Gibson. Yes. Can I steal a moment of your time, and please? Really quickly. So I didn't leave my career of 25 years, mm -hmm. OK, and come out here, leave my two teenage mm -hmm. sons for her not to be dancing. Mm -hmm. Now, this subject matter, I understand that you said was very serious. Just because she's nine years old does that's not That's not mean... where I'm coming from. OK, but that's I, I not where I'm I... coming from. What I need you all to do is let me do my job, right? I have chosen this week to utilize these particular dancers in the room. She's definitely not going to be sitting around, and I can definitely Mike, address that. Her. So we have yeah. like 20 Your minutes. Can I break so this up, well, and can you, wet. can Your I please have, have you go back in there? My I, thank you so much. Let like, me have finish doing minutes. what I'm doing. You wouldn't care. You wouldn't care. No, we have no. 20 minutes to work on the group for crying out loud. Lord God, the mothers, they're going to eat me alive. I'm a Salisbury steak in a lion's cage. I did not give up my career. Don't so get Go ahead and sit on a bench. Thank you very much. She can dance, just not in this number. Obviously, Lorianne doesn't want her in it. Lorianne made her decision, but yet Yolanda can't take no for an answer. I mean, come on. We have a new teacher, an A-list teacher, and you're wasting her time. We can't have that. We have to go to Fresno, and we have to win. We cannot let anything get in our way. Kehlani, you're savage. It's an apocalyptic city. Everyone is trying to come for what you have, and you must go into savage mode. Savage mode is we will dance from our gut and go harder. When they sleep, we stay awake. Here we go. And seven, and eight, and. And eight, and. 
cat. Kalani's getting a super athletic solo, and the only way I'm gonna be able to help her and pull her into the next level of greatness is for her to go into savage mode. And that's what this industry is. It can be very negative, very fierce, very dark, and you have to fight for your domain. Ha ha, za, za, ya, za, ga, da, da, za, ga, da, da, ponche, hold it, ha, yes. I think that we've all stated that we love having Lori Ann here for the fact that the kids are not dancing the same way. No robot in there. Kalani's just not going out to be a pretty face. She has to be a savage. That is some work. Lock all that in your brain. My solo is the most exhausting solo I've ever done in my entire life. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I've never done a dance like this. Nothing to this level or this extent, which is good considering that we're gonna have to do this one day if we want to be professional dancers. Get some water. Let's just let that sit on you, okay? Right, now, Bryn, come on, let's start the trip. Jazz, you are gonna unleash the Bryn. We want to feel really like we're on a trip, something transient, right? Psychedelic. Shake it off, we're in the trip. So more bend both legs, it's a little bit funkier. Snap it. Yes, big girl. Bryn is an incredible dancer, technically, and we've seen this, but we haven't seen this personality. We haven't seen this performer breakthrough. It's time for Bryn to bring that bubbly personality, that confidence to the foreground. Girl. The choreography is very different. It is actually freaking amazing. No ponche, no front aerial, like holla freaking Louia. Like it took way too long. She's like sporty and she's not this frail little princess ballerina that Abby has portrayed her to be. So I think she's so excited to break out of that. It's no secret that Kalani has been Abby's favorite from the minute she laid eyes on her. Kalani isn't always gonna be the favorite, especially if Abby isn't around. Just because Kalani was Abby's favorite doesn't mean she's gonna be Lorianne's. This is Bryn's chance to steal some of the spotlight. Ladies. Ooh, what? Now, same line, same line. Cameron is playing the lead character, and she's got to play a male boy with the female inside, and that's what the group dance is about. A young boy who's searching to fulfill himself as a female because this is really his truth. I'm a female in a foreign body, and the girls do finally accept him and welcome him into the female bathroom. Cameron has a lead! This is Cameron's first lead, really. Yeah, she gets yeah. a lead, that's great. Yeah. Under Abby, Cameron would never have this lead role. It is so nice that the slate was wiped clean this week with Miss Gibson, and Cameron has an opportunity to shine. And she's really stepping her game up this week and showing Miss Gibson that she is ready to take on this lead role. Wait, look at the girls, door. One, two, Ooh, five, six, and eight. One, two, plie more, okay? Honestly, as I'm sitting here watching this rehearsal, mm -hmm. I'm thinking to myself, a year ago when we first came on this team, Eliana literally was dancing more than she is now. She was in group pieces, she had solos, she had duets. So yeah, I am very frustrated now. I feel like she is going backwards. I want her to be challenged. Ellie, you know that this was really important for your friend. Do you need to let Miss Gibson know that you understand that? Eliana has a very close friend back home who is a gender nonconformist, and he's a little boy who is really speaking up to raise an awareness to children who say, why do we have to abide by social rules? And I feel that Eliana is in a perfect place to be able to say, I can teach you a lesson because I have experienced the bullying. I was there for my friend, and I know what it's like when you start to question who you are. I don't feel right doing it. Okay. Okay, I tried. I think you're gonna have regrets, and I think, I think your friend is really gonna be disappointed. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Tell me what to say. Just say I'm really upset. This really meant a lot to me. And just say thank you so much for your time.
Okay, girls, so listen up. Hi, baby. Yes, you can. Keep shushing, girls. No, no, no. Well, no, 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 don't cry. Take a deep breath. Ooh. Okay, now tell me what you want to say. What's going on? Uh huh. How much is these meant to because I was always that one person standing behind my friend. So what are you asking me? You want me to put you in the piece? Yes. I'm, I'm still fine with you, so no. I just kind of wanted to tell you. Okay, baby. Okay, come here. Let me bore you for one second. Megan, can you just come in? Could you guys just give me two seconds? And Gia, can I talk to you two girls for a second? So is Ellie in there pleading her case that she wants to dance and so she'll be put in now? She's not really pleading her case. This is very real for her, and she she walked a lot of times with her friend who suffered a lot of bullying. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi. Hey. Hey. Are you headed out? Yes, I have to dash. I have a video squirreling the swirls, but it was on my schedule before Ashley called me. Are you putting any little ones in the dance? Your daughter had a really good conversation with me, so Ellie will be in the piece. Next time, I'll have Lily screaming in the corner. Okay. A, she was not crying. And I heard Ellie say to you, Mom, just tell me exactly what to say. She said, Mom, just tell me exactly what to say. That is a quote. That is that absolutely, the day. you know yes, what? Is your this liar. is her real story. You're a liar. She is a liar. That's why I am so upset. You're lying. What are you talking about? You are insane. You are literally insane. Did you or did you not hear your daughter say, just tell me what to say? No, yeah. this liar. is her real story. You're a liar. This is her real lying story. Lying through her teeth. Gloria, this was not to get in the dance. This was actually to bring closure to what she was feeling. But do you hear how cuckoo for Coco Pebble Pops you sound? They're saying that she said to you, Mom, just tell me what to say. That is not lie. Lorianne. I know you have to go, so thank you for coming, and I apologize for us. Thank you. We'll tomorrow. see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, girls. Tomorrow. Stay in the fight. All right. Oh my. Oh my God. Well, that was a pretty low move. You're a big liar. Really? Such a liar. Mm -hmm. No one believes you. Interesting. I don't believe you, and you, you don't. But everybody else does. That's scary. I feel so sorry for your patients. I'm not really worried about your but assessment I'm you what of me, and I don't deal with dissociative identity disorder in my practice. Oh, wow. Oh, we just got diagnosed. You're just a bitch. At least I'm only one bitch. You're like three bitches, all your different personalities. Oh, wow. With all your personalities, I got to call you like bitch one, two, three. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. I am tired of being mocked. This is supposed to be a team. I feel like I'm all alone. I just want my child to dance. And I want some support from people who are supposed to be teammates. I don't want to be here anymore. See, you're over there by yourself. Those two are over there. And they probably shut you out because their moms what? know how to exclude you. Mom? They're bullying you. Mom. You know, she has feelings. Mom, she has feelings. stop. She has, wrong. She, has Yolanda, I swear I'm gonna kill somebody. I wanna go out there too, but I'm gonna watch the kids. Stacy coming today? I didn't 
I have, I have, have you seen her? Yeah. She's coming? She was in her car. Oh, okay. Did you guys talk after everything or no? No, I've tried it. She doesn't want to talk at all. Where you went wrong, honestly, is when you went in that room and you started talking to the kids. That's where you went wrong. Where Stacy went wrong is that she shouldn't have pursued you in the parking lot. Her, like, there was nothing that good was going to come from that. Even without Abby being here with her craziness, this morning is already turning into quite a mess. You have Stacy out in the parking lot, an emotional wreck, and the group is so far from finished. And these girls have to pull out a win this week. And on top of that, we don't know how long Lorianne is gonna actually stay with this team. This is frankly the last thing our kids need. Okay, ladies, this is really crazy. This is what I'm seeing for all of you. I agree. This is all of you. This is, I can't separate it. And I will get in my car before I allow that to be a reflection of who I am. I am a professional. And the minis are definitely not in the routine. No. Can we figure out what we're gonna do about okay. the homegirl? Okay. Yes, and then we'll get to that. Stacy, will you just listen? For a second, I think there's just an apology that wants to be made. I'm truly sorry for the way things went down. What went down? Don't rehash what happened. No, I am. I want to know what you're apologizing for. I should have not pushed you back. You attacked me and put your hands around my neck. Okay. I take responsibility, and I am sorry for what I've turned into. It's, no. it's affecting the team. She has to apologize for attacking me. No, she, she, oh, oh my God. She She's did. apologizing. She came out and apologized to you, and admitted she touched and your you, pride is getting and you still no. can't hear what when she you said. When you say, I pushed you back, that means I'm not saying semantics. You're done. You're done. You heard what Miss Gibson says. She is literally going to walk out on us and our children. She didn't say that to me. This is what she just said. I have this whole team of moms looking at me saying, if I don't walk in right now, Lorianne is going to leave. Ever since Abby left, I feel like things have gotten a lot worse. We are at each other's throats. I'm getting super frustrated. Honestly, I would literally feel peer pressured to come in and sit here. For me, on my watch, I want y'all to know, this is not cool. Yeah. Drama and fighting and passion, all these things are part of it. But you know what I'm saying. We have to still win through it all. This group of women, they have no respect no understanding of true authority. This tribe, this team, it's almost like it's infested. It's sick. And we need to transition out of this into what it could be. They need to identify and see someone that's living and breathing this fight. Guys, this is Rocco, my dear friend. You want to go ahead and just yeah, sure. give them a little inspiration? I'm transgender, so I felt, always felt like I should be a boy. And, uh, and it wasn't until later in life that I got to self-actualize in that way. And it's, it's really an honor to get to see you guys doing this and like that you are doing it. And I think to have this kind of struggle put into dance is, it's a beautiful moment. Do you guys have questions? When did you decide to make your transition? The year 2000, I was 20. So there 20. wasn't anything that existed. Um, so I kind of fumbled around in the dark to figure it out. Imagine what it must be like to be trapped like in this shell that, that doesn't accurately represent you. And what that struggle is, particularly being a dancer, you're in your body. You embody your body. You feel good in your body. You feel yes. powerful and confident. And imagine what that must feel like to not feel aligned with your body in this way and not connected. Where do kids go? if they need places to talk. I'd recommend the Trevor Project. Yeah, and Trevor, Trevor Project, Project is right. specifically around bullying for LGBT youth. Yeah. For trans and queer youth, suicide rates are higher. Um, they are at greater risk of being violently attacked. Like, it's, it's life or death. But generations younger yeah. than us are more accepting, are more, uh, they embrace difference. Yeah. And I think it's up to your generation to really continue to teach that. And no one chooses to be trans, and no one chooses to be gay or lesbian or bisexual. You choose to live openly and authentically. It's amazing. <laughs> we are dancing for Rocco this week, and we're dancing for a win. Let's give Rocco a hug.
I'm so glad that Laurie Ann brought Rocco in to talk to our girls. He's so brave and so inspiring, and I think that's just what they need right now. With all of this drama and the fighting and the choking and everything that has been going on, these girls really needed to hear this this week. Competition's tomorrow, and Fresno's always crazy. We know people come out of the woodwork to try to beat our kids, so I really hope that this can help the girls to come out on top. All right, let's go to the group dance, please, because it was a bit dreadful. We're at Fierce National Dance Competition in Fresno, California. And we haven't had the best luck in Fresno. It seems like somebody always loses their mind. But now that Abby is gone, I'm hoping that this is an uneventful, drama-free competition day. However, last week, the group dance was fourth. The solos didn't even place. And I don't think that Lorianne is used to losing. We really have to get her act together and focus on winning. OK, here we go, girls. Look into my eyes. We did not come here to lose, right? I want you to leave everything on that stage. Do not let me down out there, because this is the big leagues. I'm not Abby Lee for a reason. And thank you, Jesus, right? OK? OK, come on, let's go. Last week, Florianne was so far outside of the box of what these kids are used to working with that the experience overall was fantastic. And even though we didn't win, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I just hope Bryn could pull off a win against Kalani and win the overall. That would be huge for her. With a jazz performance, please help me welcome entry number 25, The Trip. them alive. Hopefully. No, no hopefully. It's already inside of you, girl. You just gotta pull it out. Kill them, though. All right, Kalani. Having Lorian is a huge benefit to me because, let's be real here, I'm not gonna be 16 forever, so I'm gonna have to move into the professional world, and this is a stepping stone to get me there. Ladies and gentlemen, in senior advanced competition, entry number 26, Savage. Number 26, Savage. 
Magical. Thank you. It wasn't about the lyrical, which obviously is one dimensional. I don't think that it could have just been any jazz routine that would have broke her out and aligned her with what she could do. And there was a stamina issue there, right? She was tired at the end. Yeah. So how do you feel Kalani did? You could definitely tell that by the end of it. She was tired. She was tired. Mm -hmm. The stamina is a huge problem. So we're going to fix it. I'm fighting for these girls because I see greatness in them. I don't want to see them disappointed. And that is who I am in the real world with my A-list clients. Yes, I do push them to most difficult points. But when we're done, they win. Here we go, ladies. We're dancing for transgender youth who do not have the opportunity sometimes to speak up with what they're going through, right? So let's be inspired by the real community that we're representing. These are real people with real questions for their entire life, yeah? All right, we've got to walk. We need to win the zone, the tribe, the LGBTQ. On three. One, two, three. Push up! This generation is going to be the generation that is going to change the world as far as transgender issues, equality. I already see it in Bryn. The way she talks and the way she accepts things that I had never heard of till I was 30. I guarantee you that they're gonna be the ones that'll get this message across. Like, it needs to be amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Q. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome entry number 43, Q.
They killed it. How do you guys feel? I loved it. They I each played their character. All looked good. Every single kid looked good doing that. All right, are we ready for awards? All right, y'all know what awards means. It means it's almost time to go. So the quicker I get through this, the quicker y'all can leave. Yeah, we'll get tacos. In our solos, in third place, we have entry number 23, God Save the Queen. In second place, we have entry number 26, Savage. Our top solo of the day goes to entry number 39, Broken. I definitely should have placed higher, in my opinion, because I literally couldn't have done anything better. I had a lot of like stuff in my solo, and it was really like hard and challenging, but the judges just must not have liked it. All right, in our teen advanced groups, this is one old pressure cooker, honey, and I feel like Betty Crocker. In second place, we have... Entry number 43, Q. They didn't win. At first, I was, I was excited with Lori Ann. I felt like she built everybody up. I felt like her presence was very positive, but it's really not been having the intended results, and I'm actually starting to really miss Abby. I don't know if things would have been different if Eliana could have actually danced. Well, you know what? I can tell you, look at the dance, and no, we didn't rise to the occasion of what it could have been. You all saw the sloppies. Don't try to act like you didn't. If we were full out and amazing, they would have had to give him first. Second is we see it. Now we have to go and make it amazing. Yes. Yeah. Speak to me like big girls. Yes. yes. Imagine if we put our stamina together, if we don't let what happens with the parents affect us. Imagine if you just focus on what we're trying to do, right? I understand that I'm bringing something different. I understand that the judges are used to looking at the same thing the same way every week. And what I'm trying to do is take dance competition higher. However, we lost because of the mothers, not because of me. Their fighting just permeated the atmosphere and really affected the entire tribe and really cost us first place. Do you know what I do feel? And then I do know, I do know that what happened between Stacy and Yolanda had a very heavy effect on me. That was definitely something I didn't expect that I would have to deal with. I'm here to deliver number one A-list superstars. That means something to me. With Abby not being here, abandoning you guys, I just need to know what's at stake for me because I don't want to waste my time. I just want all of us to be accountable for that. Not me, y'all. I need a very grown woman commitment from Stacy and Yolanda that we are, and I need you to acknowledge each other as well, that we are done. I tried, I apologized when I broke and I really meant it. I'm past it and I, we keep, having to rehash, and I just want to move forward. As a result of what happened between Stacy and Yolanda, I was really perplexed and questioning if I wanted to be here. You know what I'm saying? Well, I personally wouldn't want to have what happened between Stacy and myself to affect this, this entire team. Honestly, I would rather leave respectfully than to have this continue where it's going to affect having you leave. Well, we're not even talking about that anymore because apparently you guys put it to bed. Yolanda, you want to be a part of this and then you say that and it makes us look bad, it makes you look bad. Stop feeling, having everybody feel sorry for you. It's because of like all of this. Like now it's just everybody's come down on you. Yeah, because you said stupid Oh my God, everybody's come down on me. Y'all are killing me. You guys pissed me off this week. This is why I'm an emotional wreck. 
but I want to stay committed to the process. But right now, mm -mm, it's too much division, too much separation, too much unanswered questions. I don't know whether or not I continue with this team and with these mothers. Next on Dance Moms. You think you are better than you are. Everyone here is acting entitled. All of us have had to fight for everything. Please don't push me with some stupid like that, because I will not come back. Warm and fuzzy Lorianne has stepped out of the building. I got to get a win. We've got to get a win. Lorianne's saying, I see your limitations, and it's not good enough. You need to get back in that zone. You need to find that fight. You better be lucky your tribe is fighting for you. How dare you? Watch your back. Previously on Dance Moms. Maddie is shooting a movie, but I have the next best thing. Brit. Are you kidding me? You never taught her a thing. The minis are going to come in today. If you don't get your arms up, go home. Oh, we got a crier. Abby Lee Miller in serious legal drama faces up to five years in jail. I'm finished. We received an email that she's resigning. What? Abby has quit on this team again. It's not looking good, you guys. Coming up on Dance Moms. Abby resigned from the team. She still wants them to dance under her name. I can't imagine her not coming back. I am going to teach you a large group number. Huh. I think I'm starting to get a little nervous now. Success is a journey. Oh my god, your kid wasn't really as good as I thought she was going to be. Peyton was in the corner going, Mom, you do stop. No, she didn't. Peyton was on my lap, dumb <gasps> Your problem is your kid can't learn the dance. Everyone's hitting a wall, and they have no leader. Talk about full circle. You know what, even though Abby's not here, I'm glad the girls are here. Abby resigned from the team. She kicked us out of her studio. She lives there, literally. In light of her legal woes, Abby is an emotional wreck, showing up with her makeup half done and her hair and curlers, wasting time, eating our snacks, and it's been difficult for all of us, but especially for the kids. Abby's always talking about her brand. Let's face it, these children are part of her brand. We can't give up. She still wants them to dance under her name at competitions. No. We're still competing Whatever. ALDC because Gia like, is really, here. I think for sure she will be back. I can't imagine her not coming back. My girls have danced for Abby since they were little three-year-olds. It's hard on Maddie just because, you know, she wants to be with her team to help them. But Maddie's out filming a movie right now. She needs to focus on herself. Oh, you know Nia's not here. Where's Nia? Where? What? What? Yeah, I have to go right now. As soon as I find Mia, I could tell something is wrong. She's definitely upset about something. What happened? She's so sick. It's just getting a lot of bad heat on her. Oh, Mia. <laughs> you know, people on social media are cruel. Mia posted a video on social media demonstrating turns, and it wasn't well received. That alone is tough, coupled with the fact that Abby abandoned the girls again. Nia is frustrated. You OK, Nia? She's fine. Just some negative stuff on social media. It you know happens. what? Honey. <laughs> oh, oh. Haters are going to hate. Don't let them make you cry. Everybody gets it. You're not alone. The stress of Abby being gone is clearly bothering Nia. The girls need to be strong now more than ever. Their careers cannot fall apart just because Abby's is. See you, tears. Hey, guys. Hi, little peanuts. You guys have never been here before. Hey. Come on in, guys. So did you come mostly for the girls that they're here or because Abby told you to? She had given me the routines and the competition info. So we are still competing as planned. We'll take it by day, <laughs> week by week, and we'll see. OK. Normally, the first day of rehearsal, Abby would have a pyramid on the wall. That's not really my thing. I'm just here to tell you guys what's going on this week and to get the routine started as fast as I can. We are going to Fierce Dance Competition in Lawndale, California. <laughs> but no solos this week. Three duets. Oh, my God. So the first duet, 
Nia and Kalani, you guys. Are good. It's kind of a spin on an African routine. Hearing that Nia and Kalani have a duet, bingo. She can pull out a win. Doing an African dance duet, I think it will be enough to give her a little boost in confidence after such a harrowing day. It's something that I don't normally do, so I am going to have some help with this. Uh, Travis Payne's assistant, Aisha Francis, is gonna come in and work with you guys. I'm super excited to be working with Aisha again. We haven't seen her since we did our Travis Payne dance. She was super nice and she really pushed us to our fullest. Next, we're gonna do a mini duet. It's called Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. It was a routine that we competed two or three seasons ago. It was Asia and Chloe. And it's going to be Peyton and Alexis. I have to learn two dances in three days, but I think I can do it. I have one more, who I don't think has ever been paired together. The duet is called The Odd Couple. They already know. Yes. Kendall and Brandon. <laughs> Kendall is kind of the hardcore, like, dark, punk rock chick, while Brandon would be the complete opposite. So what part is the harder part, exactly? It's a duet. They're going to do the same thing. It's the same thing? I was just wondering. She wants Bryn to have the harder part and yeah. all the leg tricks and all that stuff that the little kids do. Maybe you should just oh, be seriously. thankful you have a yeah. duet because there are two kids, I four kids, thankful. four I kids thankful. on this team that don't have one. Bryn, if Abby were here, she would say your mother just blew it for you. I think Ashley is so desperate that she's throwing my kid under the bus yet again. This woman is rude. I gave you guys a little heads up last week about the group dance, and I think that's gonna need a lot more work than we think it, it is. So, for next week, we are doing a line with everyone. I think that Abby put all the girls together for the group dance because I think she needs the minis and the mini moms to realize if you're gonna be on this team, you need to step it up. I'm actually gonna bring in the person that's helping us with the group, and he can tell you guys about it. <laughs> So this is Nakul and his assistant, Monica. Well, if you guys don't know who I am, I know who you guys are. Oh. I love your team, and I've been watching you for many years. I don't know if you have been watching me, but I'm the Bollywood guy on So You Think You Can Dance. Oh. I am going to teach you a large group number. Oh. So I'm very excited. Let's get started being Bollywood because Bollywood's all about joy and happiness, and we're gonna win first place with this number. Yay! 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 Namaste! Yay! I'm in love with Nicole. He's a breath of fresh air. Their leader has left them. He is just what our kids need right now. I just hope and pray these minis are gonna keep up with our girls. Did you all know that you're all playing little princesses in my Bollywood number? You're going to see the prince. Yeah, our circle keeps getting oh, wider. I kind of miss our studio right about now. What is going on with that? I know that she resigned last week, so she's still. Why are you guys still here if she resigned? That's I'm curious about that. But why are you here then? Because we're here with Gia. We're part of the team. Okay, but Gia did invite us back. Said that we were part of the group. That's why I think I'm here. It's not rocket science that there barely is an elite team. There's probably not going to be a mini team. Every day we get a group dance, we're happy with that. Abby's going through a lot right now, and I think things will turn around and Abby will come back. I gave up a lot to be here. My family's home. It's a lot that we put on the line to come out here. We're not going to leave. And one, and two. Bend your knee. Bend. Bend on the numbers. And seven, eight, one, two, three. My biggest issue, honestly, with the minis dancing with the elites, the girls have never danced together before, and Abby's not here. I'm really worried right now. Nicole is the best of the best when it comes to Bollywood dancing. I hope our girls can live up to the expectation that he has and his standards. On the heel, not the toe. All right, girls, come over here. Sit down. Oh, okay. So this is a classical hand gesture. It's actually called this is called the lotus. And change it. Oh, I did it. It's really important that we do this correctly. 
because all the technique that you're doing, they're very, very, very ancient, like older than the pyramids. If you do them incorrectly, someone who knows this style might be upset if they see that you did it wrong. So you have a huge responsibility here. You have to focus. Now I'm gonna show you where these hands go. Okay, slap, step, and a look, and a look, and a look. Sharper! Look, look, look! Oh my gosh, girls. You've got to be kidding me. How are these little minis gonna remember the hand gestures along with the choreography? This choreography is insanely challenging, and without Abby here, I don't know how we're gonna pull this off. Three and four and C, D. What sucks? She has a beautiful studio. It's empty during I the day. I want to be at her studio. She doesn't want us there. Call her, Ashley. I am not dumb enough to be forced into doing something stupid by Jess. After Abby resigned last week, it turns out that this beautiful studio that Abby built in LA, we don't have access to it this week. She put the minis with the elites in a really challenging Bollywood dance. She gave us three duets. We are working with different choreographers. There's a lot of room for error. Boom, ka, boom, ka, da, ka, da, ka, ka, da, ka, ka, da, ka. Minis, you have to be aware of where you're going. So it has to look like you're going, give, ha, ha, ha. Minis, did you all see that? Thank you. I have to tell you, I'm worried about this dance. It looks really, really tough, huh? Uh-huh. Hi. Hi, babe. I just wanted um, Peyton and Alexis's mom. Is it so cute? Mm-hmm. Good. So Alexis is playing the little girl yep. sleeping That's in her bedroom it. when Peyton, her doll, comes to life. But sometimes she's a nice doll, and sometimes she's an evil doll. Oh. OK, here we go. This week, Alexis has the opportunity of doing a duet with Peyton. I'm a little nervous because Peyton, I've noticed, has sometimes a little bit struggle picking up the choreography. I think the pressure is huge for her this week. And it kind of seems like Carrie is the ticking time bomb waiting to burst. We all got to work our asses off to be here. Peyton, you're on the completely wrong foot. Step in front. Do you know what that means? That's not passe. She's doing it right in front of you. She's in front of you because she's doing it right. I mean, she's six years old. This is a lot for her in one day. A duet and a Bollywood number. I'm freaking out. There is no six-year-old out there that is going through this much pressure. You can't be doing this nice, beautiful passe when the music changes, OK? All I want for my daughter is to have training by Abby. But it pisses me off because she won't even come and watch my daughter dance. So th there's three duets. Who is choreographing Nia's? Nia okay. and Kalani will be working with another choreographer, Aisha, who I'm so excited about. Last night, I was on the phone with Aisha, and she said, I have to bring Nia and Kalani to take a class at the Debbie Allen Dance Academy. It's Debbie Allen. Really? Yep. Debbie Allen wanted our girls in her class. Here's a woman who has an incredibly busy schedule. She's been on Broadway, she's choreographed, she has a dance studio, she has directed and produced, like the list goes on and on. She is a legend in the dance industry. This is a huge deal. Focus, focus, music, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Learning this Bollywood dance is not easy. It's super difficult. And if us juniors and teens can barely pick it up, how are the minis supposed to pick it up in three days? It's messy. We know it's messy. You have to do the work. Hi, moms. Hi. How are you guys doing? Great. So I wanted to give you a little update. I think I'm starting to get a little nervous now. Peyton's mom. Right here. Peyton's mom. She's struggling with memorization of the number. And um, Ariana's mom. That's me. And Ariana's struggling a little bit as well. So we need to make sure okay. that she's practicing. This is the first for me, so let's do this together. Okay. Okay? okay? Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. 
I'm worried because this is just something that she's never done. Which would probably be fine if you didn't have a duo. We're gonna do as much as we can with it, but I'm freaking out about this dance. Just the way Carrie is nervous about this really bothers me because we're only as good as our weakest link. If she's struggling to pick up the choreography, Peyton's gonna mess up the team. On that I'm note, I'm gonna go get my little team. chickadees, take them to Debbie Allen. Have fun. Take care, my girl. Are you guys excited? Yeah, yeah. I'm so, so we're really excited. Excited because you guys are going to learn from the best. I'm nervous. This really. is really new to us. Yeah. Don't be nervous. You just want to not think about anything else in dancing from your heart. Aisha was incredible for the girls who worked with last season. She was tough on them, but she believed in them. And I'm so glad that Aisha set up this opportunity for the girls to take an African dance class at Debbie Allen's Dance Academy. Debbie Allen has some of the best African dance choreographers in town. that you all are here. I got a call that you all wanted to come and take a class. I was thrilled. It's the first time they're competing in oh, African Dance Inspired Routine. Nice. And this will be fun. I'm super excited. Never be afraid to try, especially something you haven't done. That's being adventurous and that's being a real artist. There's a difference between being a performer and being an artist. And I would wish artistry on both of you. Okay? okay? All right, let me see how y'all hang. All right, here we go. All right, Miss Marshall, take them away. All right, leave them let's go. One, and two, and three. I'm really nervous about this African duet that Kalani and I have. It's intense. I just have to remember that I have a whole team that supports me and not to get caught up in all this craziness on social media. No, well, you should tell us. We'll let you come here if you need to. Did Debbie Allen just say we could train here while Abby is gone? I am speechless right now. You all did so well. And this is not a normal technique for you. I was very proud of what you did today. That's Thank great. Thank you. Come back. Because we do flamenco and hip hop and Cirque du Soleil technique. We do everything. I'm anxious to see how you're going to transform everything that you've accomplished. And you're so young. So never be afraid to try. Success is a journey. It is always in the making. Keep expanding your horizons. Coming here was wonderful. It was and happy. they're welcome to come again. Welcome to come again. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, you. Call me and let me know. Debbie Allen's approach is the complete opposite of what we experience normally at the LDC. I think we need to see it and feel it. Abby, for years, has this whole mantra, everyone's replaceable. Guess what, in LA, you're a teacher and you might be replaced as well. So Holly, how was Debbie Allen's Dance Academy last night? It was a great experience. I was proud of Kalani and Nia. They threw themselves in there. But the neat thing is that Debbie said, well, you know what? They don't have a studio to go to. My studio's open. You are welcome anytime. Next week, if yep. we don't have a studio. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's far though, isn't it? Closer than Abby's studio. Based on Melissa's reaction, this is not going to go well. Clearly, she doesn't like it. Silence speaks volumes. That is a crazy story. I think if Debbie Allen offered and we don't have a place next week, we could rehearse at her studio. Hell no, I'm not doing that. You tell anybody in the industry, Debbie Allen offers to work with your child, you're like, oh no, I'm with Abby Lee Miller. They're going to look at you like, what's yeah. wrong with you? Everybody can have their own opinion in their yeah. brain, and that's my brain. I want to go to Debbie Allen's because I'd like to meet her because she's amazing, but I want my kids to dance where they're supposed to dance. What their jacket says, ALDC. At a certain point, as a mom, you have to be responsible. If Abby's not going to take the responsibility to do her job, right. we can't just let our kids flounder. Holly is right. Abby has resigned from the competition team, but we need to keep this team together. 
We would be crazy to pass up this opportunity when our leader is not even here. Hi. How are you guys? Hey. Great. We're doing well. Did you guys practice all night? Well, I mean, with a divided team, yeah, if you call yeah. it. Where's the division? The two people that are struggling in the class were left alone. Yesterday, Nicole said that Ari and Peyton were struggling in the group. He asked the entire team to rehearse together at home. But once we got to the hotel, Tiffany and Mary got together and started practicing on their own with their own girls and excluded Peyton and Ari. We were there waiting for him. I don't know what they're mad about. Like You guys aren't working as a group, so it's not going to be good. This is a big week yeah, this week. These mini moms better learn how to get along and practice in peace. With Abby's future so uncertain, it's very important that we make a great impression with outside choreographers. We cannot let these mini moms ruin it for us. So we have our odd couple here. Kendall, you're kind of like the hardcore, like punk rock chick, while Brynn is like dainty, pretty. OK, ready? I love when Kendall dances. That's what we're here for. What I don't like about this duet is I have to deal with Ashley all week. Ashley thinks Bryn is Maddie's replacement. She's pretty awful. Oh, that's awful. Kendall, that's not your character at all. I just think the challenge with a dance like this is if they don't get into character and act the heck out of it, it's going to be flat. Kendall's really only interested in being the pretty girl. When Kendall's given a compelling character, she kind of blows it off. Kendall, I don't think that you told your story to the audience. I think when you're in agony, you can't go. Bryn's not a member of the ALDC yet, but she should be. You know, Kendall is old news. I'm really doing my best to keep the peace with Jill. I just don't want Kendall to mess this up for her. All right, G, thank you. Bye. We have to get them clean in one day. Yes. It's really stressful because they've never done this and have one day to do it. Can we watch? Please, please, okay. please, please. It's been a really rough week for Kalani because she's learning African dancing and Bollywood dancing. I spoke to her last night, and I've never seen Kalani so stressed in my life. It's a really hard week. You guys cannot come out here having anything. You have to start taking this serious. It's not a game. It's competition is tomorrow. My name is on this now, too, so y'all have to pull up. And I don't know why you dance like you have a backpack of bricks on you. And I don't know why you just look like you feel absolutely nothing. How do you dance like that? Tomorrow's competition, and they're just learning the choreography. Did you actually see? Me and Kalani looking like they're going to cry. They're just emotionally drained. This is a tall order, and I hope the girls can pull it off. Hi. Hi. Aisha, when can I get these two girls back? Sorry, you're right. I have to give them to you. My back hurts so bad. Is it awesome? There's like, it's she was hard on them. She's That's tough. Kalani seems really upset. I Don't thought Kalani was going to cry. You know what, things come easy for her. So for her to finally be hitting one, that's a little bit, that's probably. Yeah, but it's overwhelming learning Bollywood and then this. Yeah. Because it's it's a lot. Ready, girls? So everyone is doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think Peyton is still a little bit lost. Again, Peyton, you're off, sweetheart. I'm saying that not out of, you know, I, I think you see it too. And I can tell she's ready to break down and I don't want her to do that. She's trying to be stronger. Like She's trying not to do the tears, because it's kind of like her go-to. You can tell she's trying to be tough girl. Everyone's hitting a wall, and they have no leader. That's a recipe for disaster. There's a lot of cards against us right now. Oh, yeah. If the deck is definitely stacked against us. are against us this week, Abby resigned and left Gia with guest choreographers. We have three duets and a group number with the minis that is extremely complicated. Today could be an absolute disaster. So are you guys all ready? Did the kids all rehearse last night? 
Yeah, we met at 7 o'clock. All at the same time. We didn't have the issue like yet the day before. <laughs> You guys seem to be a little tense. Didn't well. turn out well. Why? Well, <laughs> I threatened to call the cops on Tiffany last night. Wait, what? For what reason? What? We go rehearse. I say that they need to run it again because Peyton's off. Then the next thing I know, the phone is like this towards me because she wants to record my interaction the entire time. This is what she thinks. She mentally she... has problems. Peyton was in the corner going, Mommy, stop. Mommy, just stop. No, she didn't. Peyton was on my lap, dumb <gasps> Abby would never tolerate this. I think if Abby were there, she would have kicked these moms out. We've got enough distractions as it is. This has been a really tough week for everybody involved. You can't work against one another, and that's what you guys have been doing. I mean, that's not a team. I don't know these women. We're being, well, we need to grow up. You your problem have. isn't these moms. Your problem is your kid can't learn the dance, and you're stressed out about it. Karen is feeling the pressure of having two dances for Peyton. It's obvious that she's struggling and having a difficult time picking up choreography. And let's face it, Karen is taking on more than she can handle. Oh, she did a peewee. What did your feet do on that part? <laughs> Not even close. Peyton, I told you that 20 times yesterday. Done. Done. I said I'm done. Oh, don't do this to her. What? I am so frustrated. I don't want to put my daughter in a situation where she's picked on. My daughter deserves more than this. My daughter deserves a choreographer and a teacher and a mentor who wants to be there for her every step of the way. I can't even get out of here. I can't get out of here, Peyton. Abby was the one that gave Peyton the choreography and doesn't show up for her to see it. I can't get us out of here. I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. I can't. I can't, it's gone. You can't what? She can't do that duo with that girl. Please, hold on, Barry. I got to get away. I think it's a shame. I feel bad. What's going on? Where do you want to go? I'm going to throw up. Oh, my god. She is losing it. I can't let Carrie and Peyton leave like this. If Peyton doesn't do this duet, they are both going to regret it. This is your first duet. Yeah, it should be a happy dance. And you get to play the cool part. That's why everyone loves the makeup and everything. I really relate to Peyton because when I started on the competition team, I was six. And it was very hard for me. So I really wanted to talk to her and help her. We're all there for you, and we all want to see you do really well. I'm so proud of you. You're my princess, and you shine, OK? I've already cried all my makeup off. I don't want you to cry your makeup off. That took almost like two hours, OK? <laughs> <laughs> Listening to Holly and Kenzie give Peyton the support makes me realize that I need to let Peyton stay. This is her time to shine, and I can't stand in her way. I love you. You can do this, okay? So they picked you for the duet. And that's great, right? Just go out there and be amazing, okay? After everything that went on, I am so nervous. Please welcome to the stage act number 27, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. These girls need to prove themselves. And the way this routine looked yesterday, I don't know if this is going to happen. I've never been more proud of my child 
than this moment. This is what we're here for. I'm so excited I stuck through all this crap to get her to this one moment. After that performance, I think that Abby would agree that Peyton deserves to be on this team. I know we can do it. We can do We're it. We're smart dancers. We've learned to dance in a day before. I love you. Please welcome to the stage act number 28, Isolations. Mia and Kalani have never done this genre of dance before, let alone competed. They have a lot on the line. They have their team members they're competing against, and they have Debbie Allen's legacy to uphold as well. So the girls need to win. I'm really nervous about this duet with Kalani because we only had one day to learn it, and it's a style that we've never done. Please welcome to the stage act number 28, Isolations. just so proud of Mia and Kalani. Not only of their dance performance, but of the people that they're becoming. They didn't crumble and fall. They didn't have a pity party. It was incredible. I'm so Amazing. proud of them. Oh my gosh. Please welcome to the stage at number 26, the Odd Couple. Ashley is so worried about my 12-year-old little girl playing this character, this dark, seedy, punk rocker. Now all this pressure is on Kendall. You know what? I have faith in Kendall. She can do anything you give her. Once again, Kendall is given a character and she can't do it. She just doesn't put the energy into it that it takes to pull it off. Brynn and Kendall's duo is going up against Kalani and Nia's African dance number. Our duo is looking kind of pitiful next to theirs. It was all, all yeah. of them did very well. I don't know. I do think Kendall could have played it up a little bit more. I'm sure you do think that. Yeah, I, uh, well, who are you to actually, judge Kendall? Like, that's stupid. Because it's a duo. I think your eye was drawn to Kendall because she was so dynamic. I don't know. I think Brynn may have been a little bit boring. I don't agree. So, what happened with Brynn's turn? She was late both times. Every time we're talking about Brynn or anybody else that just butts in, I really think she needs to keep her mouth shut when we're talking about other kids, because I'm tired of talking to her. Well, here's something. Don't talk about other kids. We were talking about, about the duo. Brynn. We were talking about the duo, Jeez. Jill. Here comes our girls. Yay. Good job, guys. Okay. Yay. Yeah, good job. Yeah. You nailed it. Proud of all That's the girls. good. Who's proud of you? Oh, Thank you. Oh, so proud. Can we get all this off and get ready for the group now? 
This group dance is the first time our girls are competing with the minis. Not only is it one of the hardest dances we've ever done, but without Abby here, it's been chaotic. Carrie had a huge meltdown. The mini moms have been at each other's throats, and I don't know if they're ready for this. <gasps> Hi. Hey. Oh my gosh, look at you guys. Namaste. 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 Yay. Gather around. Come here, I need to talk to you guys. We have to deliver. Not just because it's you, but because you're doing something so cultural. Now that's just one angle. The second angle is, Mr. Nicole has a reputation. And I usually never put anything on stage until it's ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Do you feel ready? Yeah. Are you gonna do this? Yes. All right. Girls, we're all walking. Let's go. Moms and girls, here we go. I've been freaking out over this dance. Peyton knows that I'm freaking out over everything this week. I'm scared. Even though Abby's not there, Abby sees everything. I don't want all the moms to blame her for messing up. And you're in the Once again, Abby's left us high and dry. The kids are stressed. They've got a lot on their plate. Now Abby has these minis dancing with our kids for the first time. I just hope they can secure a win today, despite all this chaos. All the kids together looked great. There were a couple little kids just kind of doing the movements late. But let's just hope the judges watched the big girls because they nailed it. Good afternoon. Are we ready to do our award ceremony? Here we go. Mini advanced duo trio. Alexis's future is really on the line. We're not a team right now, and if we ever want to become a team, we need to win for Abby. We have a top champion, 27. Don't be afraid of the dark. Yay! I'm super proud of Peyton. This is my baby. She's meant to perform. She's meant to make other people laugh and smile and to see the crazy stuff she could do at such a young age. This is her defining moment right now. Junior advanced duo trio. In third place overall, act number 26, The Odd Couple. Oh my God, third. <laughs> we didn't come here to get third place. I think Jill totally needs to stop protecting Kendall. 
It is not doing her good. The more everybody babies her, the worse and worse she's gonna get. Teen Advanced Duo Trio. I've been more stressed out than I've ever been. Because we really had to pull through with a new style of dance, and I know that things are not going to be good if we don't win. We have a first overall champion going to, drum roll please, act number 28, Isolation. They did it. Mia and Kalani won first place in their division. Despite the obstacles they had to endure, they were able to push through and find that inner strength to achieve success. All that heartache and headache, that's right. We're going to now announce our top highest scoring group for the day. I'm freaking out because if the group doesn't win, whose fault is it? They shouldn't have added the minis to the team. Our highest scoring group dance of the entire competition, act number 67, Bollywood Dreams. Namaste. Namaste. Our little team, which has grown with these minis, came out on top. Congratulations to all of you. I'm very, very happy. Thank you for bringing this art form to our girls. Thank you. Yeah. The girls proved to everyone that they can win without Abby, with any style of dance. As crazy as this experience is, all of you new moms need to learn to work as a team. It could be a defining moment for you. Or it might so, not be for you. It takes tough moms and tough kids to make it through here. Honestly, you may not make it. This is not easy. I made an ass of myself. I don't think, I don't know. But we have to have a unified group. What do we have to lose? Right. My sanity. Next on Dance Moms. Hello, ladies. You were gone last week. Are you back for good this week? No. This is ridiculous. I think you've lost your mind. Oh, oh. we have a mini. Well, I just need to know if we're staying. Do you want your kid in the routine or not? I do. Then get out of here right now. Abby Lee Miller runs the show. You don't. And she'll never let you run the show. I felt like Kendall didn't care. you. You are so desperate. It's sickening. Previously on Dance Moms. Ever since the mini showed up, Abby has been all over the place. I am hysterical. And I have a huge legal issue going on. I'm finished. We received an email that she's resigning. What? Get out of here. I think if Debbie Allen offered and we don't have a place next week, we could rehearse at her studio. Bryn did an outstanding job. She led the group to victory. And I'm going to keep her around. You're pathetic. Karma's a bitch. What goes around comes around. You're absolutely right. Coming up on Dance Moms. The show has to go on. I mean, why? We just need to find another place. Leave! Go! You didn't bring costumes! You don't do your job! She doesn't want what? us here. Did you say that? She did. Let's go to Debbie Allen. I don't feel the joy. Kalani is not as good as she is to be. Go f yourself! You don't want to be here, just go home! This is why she's a pathetic piece of s. First place goes to. Living on the dance floor. Hey. Hi, Ab. I love that you have cute boys working for you, always. Oh, I love how you do that to your hair. It looks like rollers, but not. So when you take it out, it's all, your color's great. Here we are at dance. Everybody's ready to go. Abby's not ready. She's got curlers in her hair. She still has her pajamas on. It's midday now, mind you. We don't have time to waste. Are you coming to play? No. I'm not working anymore, so. Um, oh, golly. There's an hey, ongoing incident that needs to be addressed. I, I know. It has nothing to do with the routine. They have to dance because the show has to go on. I mean, why? I know Abby is overextended. She's got a ton going on. She's dealing with legal issues that could land her in jail. But this is not fair to our kids. Which Abby is going to show up? Is she going to be happy and want to teach? So, Tay, put the turn in. Got that? <laughs> is she going to be mad and sit in her bedroom? Get out of here! Which Abby is going to show up? We're here to, like to see out 
see through what we've started. You can't go out on the bottom. You have to go out on top. All right, let me ask you this. Can you find a way, Jill, in that little brain of yours, can you figure out a way to completely discourse the federal government's perception of me holding $170,000? How can you fix that? Well, that's I don't... what needs fixed. These mothers have no clue. I was not put on this earth to be at their beck and call for their daughters. I have problems of my own to deal with. And sometimes they have to take priority. So what's the problem? The problem is that there's no respect, none, for the damage done. OK, but we did not do that. The girls did not do that. And that's like what's taking like the brunt of it right now. Let's go do the dance. Let's go do yeah, it. Who cares? I have a right in this country not to work for you. You know what? Do you want to go to Debbie Allen's studio? That's the other option. OK. That's fine. That's fine with you? That's not going to make you happy. Leave. Go. So if you don't want us here, we, we just need to find another place. We're trying, Abby. I hope they go to her studio. We are, we are ALDC right we now. We are here. This but you keep we're pushing here everyone and away. We're here for you. Go. These kids love the studio. Can All I tell right, you something? I'm gone. To hear Abby say we should leave is a slap in the face. We don't have to take what Abby's giving us. That's not the dance teacher I signed up for. Honestly, Abby, we want to be here. I know those moms want to be here. Abby, I think you should come out and be with your kids. So we'll give you a minute, and then we'll see you in a little bit. I know. It's hard to see you like this. You shouldn't have to be like this. You know, we love you, And Abby. you're strong. <laughs> you know? Then walk away. You'll you get know, through everything. I mean... Then walk away. Abby's been with all of our girls since they were minis. I know deep down in her heart, she really doesn't want them to leave. I'm hoping that if we give Abby some time to collect herself, she will want to come out and teach our kids. Is, is she dressed or? You know what you looked like at about 7, 10 this morning? That's what she looks like right now. Just not ready for the day. Did you just teach them this? Yeah. It's really good. These kids are freaking amazing. We the do. theme is steampunk. Like industrial, mechanical, uh -huh. grungy. Our group dance this week is entitled Well Oil Machine. And thank God Abby has already given Gianna direction and choreography so that she can teach the girls until Abby decides to come out and be with her team. So where are we going this weekend? We're going to Phoenix. I'm worried about going to Phoenix. There's a lot of good dancers. There's a lot of good studios. And let's face it, with Abby and deciding whether she wants to teach or doesn't want to teach, we're not off to the greatest start this year. Like, this could be our first really big competition, and we need a win. Gee, who has salt? Do you know the who has what? It's Bryn and Kalani, for, first of all. And then it was supposed to be Maddie, because, because she was supposed to be back this week. but because she's not back in time, and we'd rather her be in the group. Maddie's supposed to be here right now, but she's filming her final scene for the movie. So she's going to meet us in Phoenix to learn the group dance and be back on the team for the rest of the season. We're going to see Kira this weekend. That's good. good. Now, does she know Ashley's still with us? Mm -hmm. Weren't there some nasty texts being shot back and forth from not you Not for me, all from her. What's she pissed about? Somebody told her that I was talking about her all day. And then she sent me all those horrible texts. Kira and I are both from Phoenix. Our kids grew up dancing at the same studio. I get that Kira has a baby at home, but she wasn't even committed before she had a baby. And I know she's threatened by me being here because Kira knows that I know so much about her. I guess my question is, when we get to Phoenix and Kira shows up, what's going to happen with you two? I don't know. Oh, God. I don't know. I know Ashley and Kira have a lot of drama between the two of them. Kalani got to the point she is because of Kira manipulating behind the scenes. Don't sit there and lie like a bitch. But we already have a lot of drama with Abby not wanting to teach our kids. I sure hope when we arrive in Arizona 
that those two can keep it together so we can stay focused on the dance. Guys, let's review from the top. So another day without Abby. God, this is driving me nuts. Holly, what do we tell the children? By this point, I am very much prepared to follow up with a conversation when with Debbie Allen and to see if she'll let us use her studio. For sure. She picked them out of the studio this week. We had to find another place to rehearse. No, well, you should tell us. We want you to come here if you need to. Tell somebody to call me. Okay. I mean, this attitude of no passion, you don't care this week about if we're here or not. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's awful. stupid. Let's go to Debbie Allen. I don't want to beg Abby to do her job. Maybe we should go someplace else and really take you up on your word. Hey, hey, girls, Kendall, you guys, come on out. All of you. She can come, too. These kids need to know the fact that Abby can't come out and do her job, it's not their fault. It's none of these kids' fault. They deserve better, and Abby's not giving it to them. Can you guys have a seat just for one minute? OK, so Abby didn't want us here two weeks ago. She has said how many times, I don't want to be here, I don't want this, I don't, I don't want it. How would you guys feel if we went to a different studio? But why would we leave our studio? This is our studio, like, when we go to competition, our back is going to say Abby Lee, and we're not even here. Because she doesn't want oh, us here. Yeah. Did she say that? She did. Tomorrow, if we get here, and the doors are locked, that will mean she doesn't want us here. What do you guys want to do? If we don't have a teacher that wants us, let's go find a teacher that wants us. We have Gia. Maybe we should rehearse somewhere else, because we already started the dance, and we have a competition, and we should be prepared. And we don't want to just keep on wasting time. Just want to dance, so same. We sense their frustration, their questions. They just want to dance. and. A true dance mom is not going to sit by and be passive. We have to take action and do what's in the best interest of our girls. Hi, you reached the Debbie Allen Dance Academy. Hello, this is Holly. Are you guys excited to be here? Or are you a little apprehensive? Or I think Abby left us really no choice at the end. Yeah. I mean, back and forth and back and forth. Is she coming? Isn't she? You know what? I think we made the right decision. I really do. Yesterday was a tough day for the team, and we tried reaching out to Abby even today, and she's still refusing to work with our girls. I'm happy that Debbie Allen is opening her doors to us because the ALDC right now is not the right place for our girls. And right now, our girls need a place to rehearse and to work. So wait, Kalani's doing what? Contemporary? Contemporary. And then Riz, Riz is doing lyrical? Is more lyrical, yeah. But we are doing the costumes, right? So she didn't give you guys the costumes? No. If Abby's not coming, she's not going to give us costumes. So we need to figure something out, and we need to do it quickly. What if we call Kira and see what she has there at her studio? Does she have dance work? Hi, Mom. I actually have something. Call her and see if she has stuff that we can use. She has a little store, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. Hi. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hey, Kira. We are having trouble finding group dance costumes. Do you have anything in your store or anything that we could wear for the group? It could be simple or whatever. Yeah, I'm sure we do have that, but I think just depending on what color. Seven black. Just like a muted color. Or it's in, like an industrial dance. Sunny sizes. OK, we'll text them. OK. OK, thanks, okay. Kira. Bye. OK, Bye. kiss your baby. Well, we need to let the girls um, yeah. rehearse, so. Bye. All right, G, thanks. We'll get out of your hair. Our group this week is called Well-Oiled Machine. And that's exactly what we are. We found another rehearsal space. We found someone to provide costumes. All of this is getting done, no thanks to Abby. All right, ready, Brim? Mystical beauty. Regardless of all the fast stuff and all the changes that we're going through, it's still pretty. I'm so excited that I get to perform in my hometown of Phoenix this weekend, but there's a lot of pressure on me. I know that Maddie's returning to the team for good, so I have to beat Kalani to prove that I can be a permanent member of this team. It's going to be tough. Better. We need to pull out all the stops this week. So what is the sentiment? I mean, I thought I was, you know, coming to dance for Abby. That was what we thought we were doing. 
And that I hasn't think, been what it is. In all due respect, you're lucky if Abby doesn't come this weekend. Why? Because I think Kalani is going to wipe the floor. And I think Thank Bryn's going to get shown up. And I think it'll be better for you if Abby doesn't really see it in person. Bryn does well all the time, you guys. She has the best record so far on the team. What? But she's come through every time she was asked to do something. You have sat here for the last four weeks saying Bryn has the best record. And we're just saying, be prepared. Well, she does. Kalani hasn't had a solo yet. That Kalani. wasn't up to me. And Maddie beat your daughter. The last time we were in Phoenix, Kalani won the Super Belt champion of the dance competition. That's a big deal. That's her hometown. That's why Kalani is not as good as she used to be. Oh, oh that, wait, what? You don't Kalani think? was amazing oh God, a couple she, of years ago. I think she's amazing. <laughs> she's not. You don't want to say that. I think that. you're alone on that island. I mean, I'm really not. Who does Ashley think she is? Kalani is the same amazing dancer she always has been. It's going to be tough for Brenda Wynn. There's a lot of talented kids in Phoenix. I hope Ashley isn't writing a check that her mouth can't cash. This is the first time your mom has seen you dance in forever. Mm -hmm. Don't blow it. I'm super excited that I get to compete in my hometown this week. It's been so long since I've seen my mom, and I really miss her watching me dance. So hopefully I can pull out a win for her. You did forget something. After the arch yeah, round, this. this. Ball change, hold, OK. Go over there, figure everything out. Yes. Arizona star. <laughs> Jojo, Debbie yeah, Allen. Kendall. You. Kendall. It's really cool that I get a chance to meet Debbie Allen. She has a huge name out there in the dance world, and it is amazing that we all get the experience to dance at her school and for her to give us advice. Well, I'm happy that you guys are here. And we have a lot of gratitude for you letting us be here today. Oh, no, I'm a happy. Lot. I'm mm -hmm. happy to be able to fill in while you're waiting for Miss Abby. I know she'll be back. She's been with you guys a long time, mm -hmm. and she's helped raise you. And so that's a good thing. So, all right, well, let me see what y'all got. Come on. You guys, okay. wanna go, you guys wanna go from the top? Yeah. I'm just in awe to be in the presence of Debbie Allen. I mean, she's an icon. She is a living legend in the history of dance. You can feel that positive energy. You can feel that sense of commitment. She's taking the time out of her schedule to be with our girls. And their own dance teacher couldn't do that. That's nice! Good job! Wow. OK. That was pretty so you've been working for how long? Since when? Yesterday. Yesterday. OK, you know, it's very, very evident that you work together as a group. And I guess it's about deciding what is the narrative. Do you know yet? Yes. OK, so what it is is it's like, an object person that's half machine. You're a machine that is human. Yes. That's what you are. OK. This is why dancers make the best actors, because we don't have words. We have our bodies and our faces to tell the audience and how we move, what are we talking about. To dance is to be powerful and to be very godlike. I, I just think it's one of the most incredible arts to study, and it gives you power. So when you dance, you have to dance with that kind of power. I think Debbie Allen and Abby are very opposite dance teachers, choreographers. Abby is always screaming at the kids. Debbie Allen talks to the girls. She's very inspirational. I love that. I think it's great. All right, who's got a solo? Don't be scared. Uh, I have a solo. All right, let's see him right quick. Come on. Arizona Star. such control over your instrument. You have such an incredible gift. Thank you. That was Thank great. You so much. Yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. Who else has a solo right quick? All right, come on. Maybe just do like a little section. A little part. Just do it. Just do it. 
I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm going to forgive it. Just do a little section. That was a little preview. <laughs> OK, so you know you have beautiful legs and feet. I don't feel the joy. There's no joy. Where is that? It would make you more powerful. It would make me pull into you and not just say, oh, she's got great legs and feet, because you know, that's not the, that's not the thing that makes a dancer really the best. Ashley, did you hear that? Bryn has no emotion when she dances. Debbie Allen said it. Everybody has said it. Bryn is boring. It's really, really nice. So how many rooms? Five. Is this where our kids are going to be? Yeah. Today, we're at a Dodge, Kira Studio in Phoenix, Arizona. It's nice to see Kira again. She's been home caring for her newborn baby, but now she's back here with us. Plus, Maddie is back permanently. We have our complete ALDC team now. Competition's tomorrow, this is it. This is our last chance at cleaning, at getting it together. I hope they can pull it off. You're off on the line. Do this with Kendall. You guys are opposite on that part. Oh, yeah. You know, Abby didn't show up the other day, right? Yes, yes. I know she didn't so show we've, up. We've Is been, she um, here, Abby, though? She's here, here but not here. Oh, she's in town. She was on the uh, plane with she's us. A, she's yeah. at the mall. Uh, she's getting her hair done. Actually, she told us, um, are we in first class with Debbie Allen? She brought it all on herself. She told us to go We there. told her we didn't want to go. We're here for you, Abby. The kids are here. We're ready to go. Go to Debbie Allen's. We're like, OK. OK. Call okay. your bluff. Yeah. We're gone. For a grown woman, Abby is acting like a complete baby. She is so upset that we went to Debbie Allen's studio, even though she told us to. I can't believe she flew all the way to Arizona to pout and throw insults at us on the airplane. Who does that? A big baby. You know, also, I think that she probably is scared to come to Arizona because she knows that there's a lot of good dancers in Arizona. I mean, obviously, she's got two of them in the room, so. Well, not according to Ashley. Ashley said Kalani wasn't good anymore yesterday. Right. No, she didn't, but she did say. Through a period of time where she wasn't I'm as sorry, good as she used to be. She said she's not as good as she used to be. Like, and then this year, she's getting back to where she was. When she left her training to come to the team, she did go through a hard time, but she bounced back real quick. It has been really hard to be away from Kalani for so long, but I had to do what's best for the family and take care of my newborn son. I just wish while I was gone, Ashley wasn't talking about my child. Ever since Kalani and Bryn started training together in Arizona, Ashley has been so jealous of Kalani. Ashley, you can talk all the you want to, but if you try and start stuff at competition, you're gonna regret it. Yeah. Abby's here. Is she? Yeah. She showed up. Let's go Let's get her. Let's go get her. Oh, you didn't get your hair done. I did get my hair done. Oh, sorry. I got my lips done. Well, rehearsals have started, Abby. Are you going to come inside to do rehearsals? Debbie Allen does not leave my house. She has other. Well, Debbie Allen's not here. We but just used her she studio. She didn't choreograph anything. She just she talked. Just, you know, well, but we didn't ask that of her. Yeah, Abby, I don't think you should be in the right to call anybody lazy at all. Abby, did you come all the way to sit in the car, or are you going to come in? I mean, you did fly here today, right? Are you going to come in, or is this the plan? I came to go get my eyelashes done. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to get some lipstick on. I'm, gonna I'm not talking to her anymore. We'll see you in there. We'll see you in. Just being obnoxious. Why show up to sit in your car and eat lettuce wraps? Seriously. Stay in your hotel room and do that. Why leave LA with all the best hairdressers in the world to come here to get yours done? That makes no sense. Nor does it make sense to be sent no, as I mean, a team to go to another dance studio either to Well, train. just yesterday, Debbie Allen was there. She was engaging. She was giving corrections, giving praise. The kids were wide-eyed, like, Are listening, hanging on her every word. The Abby that I knew would speak about dance in very similar ways as 
Miss Allen did, but it seems like money has somehow corrupted her, so she's only fixated on the money and not the artistry. Yeah, she's lost her passion. Her passion now isn't dance, it's the almighty green dollar. Hello. Ooh, it stinks in here. What smells in here? When you first walk in, it's like, where are the girls? Right there. OK. Hello, girls. Hi. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Good. I was like, who is coming uh, in this door? Let's see. Let me see the well-oiled machine. It's going to step on stage in the jazz category at Sheer Talent here in Phoenix. So let's take it from the top, pull out. The mobs continue to accuse me of abandoning the team. What, because I'm busy? Because I have other priorities now? Don't they realize that if I've done my job in the first three, four years with this junior league competition team, then they should be on autopilot. They should be able to walk in that room, warm up, and stretch. They should be able to take choreography and take instruction from any other teacher in my school. And they should look amazing. Nice. Now, girls, when you step out on that stage, I want you to be what people expect you to be, right? You guys work together like a well-oiled machine, especially on weeks when I'm not here, when I have a business to run, and I have things to do, and I have battles to fight. You need to be that well-oiled machine that the Abby Lee Dance Company created. nervous for this competition than I have been the other ones. Because this isn't only Kalani's hometown. This is Bryn's, and she has something to prove here by beating Kalani. She has to prove that she is good enough to be on this team permanently, whether Maddie is here or not. Where is where's Kalani? She has a solo. That stresses me out. Well, you know, our new baby. <laughs> Throw a monkey wrench into anything. But she always gets special treatment. Here you guys know care. it. It's obvious. <laughs> she still doesn't care. She doesn't care. care. <laughs> she well, still doesn't, doesn't care. care. Have you heard from her? Did she say, sorry, I'm running late? Did she send anyone No, back? she didn't text me, and Kalani didn't text me either. That's a little which... weird. I don't, I have no say. I don't know. I don't care if she walks in five minutes before she's on. Kalani is 15. She pulls your age up every time she dances in the group. When Kara's around, she can't get her on time. She's not even in California with her kid. Ashley must be really nervous for today because she's telling everybody all the reasons why Kira and Kalani should leave and her and Bryn should stay. As much as I like Kalani, Kira does not care about this. She's just sitting on her ass at home. And we're all working our asses off and she's getting the benefits of it. You're working your asses off? Uh, yeah, it's not easy, okay, and you know it. <laughs> well, we were just saying that we were all on time and you're a little late. I didn't realize that um, having to pump milk for the day and get the baby all settled and no, I know. <laughs> we know. But listen, was the no one said thing. That the hardest job in the world is years. being a mother. <laughs> and we all are, and we've all done it. It's been eight years, so you you forget. She's never cared. That's the reality. Guess what? I've I've said a thousand times about me being here, and they all know it. <laughs> so then, why are you here? Then we, we all know because Kalani, Kalani wants, wants to be here. Bryn wants to be here, and I have to be here, and I show up and I work hard. She gets all the benefits, and she gets to sit at home. You're a manipulator, you're a user, you're a liar, and you know it. Everybody knows it. I, I don't really care what you think of me. I really don't. I don't care what you think. I'm with three baby daddies and a criminal record. I could care less what you think about me. Just keep coming with them, Ashley. This is I what I mean. All day long. How this long do you want to say This is what here? I'm talking How about. How long do you want to You're here? a real pathetical person. Pathetical isn't a word. I thought you had a master's degree. Did you not know that pathetical isn't a word, but you have a master's degree? You can sit here and say all you want, Ashley. Sit there with your liposuction and your plastic surgery and your tummy tuck. Oh my gosh! Just go home. You don't want to be here, just go home. Nobody wants you here, go. I'm not here to play your games. 
I know you start cussing when you really don't Do know what to say. Do you want to let say. her sit here and play her games? I'm not playing games. Fine. No, Kira, don't no, go. I'm Please don't go. Please don't go. If you want to sit here and let her play her games, then you can. You all. She's a bitch, well, and I'm not going to sit here and allow her to play her games. So go yourself. This is why she's a pathetic piece of This is not the time for Ashley to bring up old issues with Kira. We already have a checked out Abby. We do not need these moms fighting. We're supposed to be a well-oiled machine, and it's not going to work if these two moms don't lay off of each other. Oh, I know it's out. okay. I'm fine. Please don't let no, her push you No, but I'm out. not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Yeah, but I'm not playing the game. I know. This is not why I'm here. I'm going home. What happened? You know how she is. She's Ashley? being fake. She's being desperate. I'm not playing the games. You're way better than she'll so, ever be. So yeah, but exactly, and I'm not playing the games. It just sucks that somebody else comes in and they're not even on the team and you're the one who's leaving. This is an amazing story. I know it is. She's, she's, the, the, she's the Arizona today. star. So freaking amazing. I'll watch her, but I'm not dealing with her. Like, I'm not. Ashley needs to learn. Kira and Kalani are on the team. Bryn and Ashley are not. So I hope Kalani Solo is going to put Ashley in her place. Coming up next, entry number 78, the Arizona star. ALD dancer looks like. You can run your mouth with flies all you want, but Kalani just shut you up on the dance floor. Entry number 73, <laughs> Mystical Beauty. Entry number 73, Mystical Beauty. Whether Maddie is here or not, Bryn is an asset to this team, and she's going to prove it to Abby and the team by going out and winning the solo. Good job, Brent. 
Spring was amazing. She went out there and showed off her fabulous technique, her amazing emotion, and I think she showed everybody who the real Phoenix star is. Kendall, where are the earrings? Where's your costume? Kira came through with the costumes. They look great. They work perfectly for the number. So despite no support from Abby, we do have costumes. Perfect. OK. How we doing, ladies? Good? OK. Yeah. OK, but OK. Stop. Back up. T t t wait. It's the shorts are all different. And you can, it's blatantly obvious they're all different. Abby, that's all we have. I think we have to make it work. Put the black leotard on and then put the crop top over the leotard. At this point, Abby is picking apart the costumes because she is so mad that we took matters into our own hands. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What if we put that burgundy skirt on underneath the suspenders but over the shorts? Look in here and see if they're shorts. Yeah, take the leotard off, put the new shorts on. I don't care how they fit, just put them on. Honestly, the costumes are what? Five points of the dance? I mean, why don't we focus on the dance itself rather than the costume? I pride myself on making my dancers look good on stage. Well, you know what, Abby? This would have been done days ago. There's no need for this. OK, well, if you don't feel your child can dance and handle all this pressure, it's OK. We can reblock it. No, nope, that's not my point. My point is you were not here to do your job this week. We all know it. I'm just voicing it. And I think the girls want to dance, and now they're getting sidetracked because you're focused on this costumes instead of the dance. Whoa! You are making this whole costume thing my fault. It is that's your job. fault. You didn't bring costumes. You didn't show up to do your job. You brought costumes that have booty shorts that you can see every line in. They had black on. They looked great. You're messing them up and flustering them. No one else is. You are, because you don't do your job. Stupid. You don't even know what you have. Abby is upset and angry about our costumes. Well, newsflash, we're angry that you can't show up. We're angry that you can't get dressed. We're angry that everything else is more important than these girls right now. The entire week, Abby has not been around. We had to go to a different studio. We had to get our own costumes. It's so important that we rise up and we can prevail through any of Abby's erratic behavior. Entry number 75, well-oiled machine. Entry number 75, well-oiled machine. This has been a really tough week for everybody involved. I just hope and pray that the girls are not affected by Abby's behavior. They need to get out there and be perfect and win.
kids. They've been put through the ringer this week, but the well oil machine worked. Went on stage, did its job, and it drove off. They were great. I just hope it's enough to win here in Arizona. Are you ready? Have you had a good time today? Best in the high score. Can we get a drum roll? For years, Kira has lied and manipulated to get Kalani ahead, and today's the day that it's all gonna catch up with her. Kalani's not gonna place higher than Bryn, and that's gonna prove that Bryn's a valuable member of this team, whether Maddie is here or not. So, for the overall high score solo duo trio, first place goes to... Answer number 74. Ashley came in saying Bryn always wins, Bryn's the best, her technique's better than everybody. You know what? She didn't place. So learn a lesson, Ashley. You can't always win. There's always someone better. So next we have overall high school group. This has been a really tough week for our girls. They've showed up, they've worked their butts off, which is more than I can say about Abby. So no matter what happens today, I'm very proud of them. Second place. Entry number 66, Firestone. And the first place goes to... Entry number 75, Well Old Machine. I'm so happy the girls won first place. We're in Phoenix. This is a hard competition. They won with Gianna's help and the mom's support, not with Abby's help. Abby, we did it without you. Girls, congratulations! 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 Why am I here? I didn't need to come. Don't you think you should lead by example? No, I don't. I'm not a dancer. I don't pretend to be one. I didn't ask you about that. I asked you about not showing up to class and then showing up and eating lunch in your car while the kids are in there working. That's not a good example. Well, do as I say, not as I do. Abby is too stubborn to admit she is messed up. Where do we go from here, Abby? Next week, are you going to be in the studio with when the kids show up? Unless Chuck brings me over. OK, good. So we got that hashed out. So does that mean Bryn will be on the pyramid if you're going to do it? Your seventh dancer, you finally got her. Well, Maddie's back. So I think Bryn is on probation. No, I'm not coming back as long as she's there. So if she stays, you're not coming back? You hate her that much. Next on Dance Moms, the group routine. We're doing the seven deadly sins. Think of the seven deadly sins. Every single one of them applies to one person in that room. Maddie, you're here now. This should be better than ever. You're just rushing through. Why did you not watch Maddie on The Ellen Show? Do you feel like you're jealous of her? You know what, Abby? You have problems that are not mine. Abby has to get her passion back. I sacrificed everything for your kids. I'm sick and tired of fighting. 